This is Fernando Rosales of STV CNC. I'm coming at you today with some information regarding hypertherm consumables. This is what a brand new set of nozzle and electrodes look like. You'll see that it's got a perfectly uniform copper color. The hole is perfectly round. There's no scoring or marking anywhere in there. On the inside, you'll see that it's got a completely cleaned nozzle. There's no markings or anything there. That's just what your standard brand new nozzle looks like. Your electrode, you'll notice that it has a little gray marking up there, no scoring on the side. It's a perfectly uniform copper color. As you start using the consumables and they start getting a little more worn, you'll notice that they start getting a little discoloration on the top of the nozzle. You'll start getting some black stuff added to it. Typically, this is just from the debris of the metal cutting going back into it and just sticking on there. And you'll see inside, you'll see some scoring, which isn't too big a deal. This is still usable. On the electrode, you'll start seeing some slight discoloration at the top here. The gray part is still there, may have a little scoring on it. It's still good though. You have no reason to change it just yet. And now if you push your table to the edge of what your consumables can do, what you'll start seeing is that the hole will start to get a lot wider on your nozzle. You may see a lot more gunk built up, which means that it won't be as precise as it used to be when it first started off. You may see some slight discoloration on the sides. Um, and on the inside, you'll see a lot more scoring than you did previously. You can still use it, but you're getting on the borderline of barely passable. On your electrode, what you'll see is, you'll see a lot more discoloration on the side, some scoring on the top here. Once you start seeing this scoring happening, you know that it's probably a good time to start looking at adding a new electrode in there or a new set of consumables in there. Finally, if you do decide to push it a little further, you're gonna start seeing some serious wear and tear on your nozzle. The nozzle hole here is gonna be much wider. You may even start getting a lot of discoloration up there as the copper just completely burns off. And if you go on the inside, you'll see a lot more discoloration and scoring. I wouldn't use this for any real cuts. A test cut, maybe, but this is really not practical for any good results. On your electrode, what you'll see is that it's a lot more discoloration here, a lot more scoring on the top. The hole is now becoming more of an actual hole as opposed to just a marker. And you'll start seeing some of the copper actually start to flake off because of the heat. You'll see some discoloration happen all the way up to the spirals, even up to the tip. You're starting to borderline uh, inusable. Maybe some welding will happen, some gouging that you don't want on your end results. And then finally, if you for whatever reason are like me and decide to go just as far as you can push the machine, you're gonna see that your nozzle will get completely warped. This actually has from all the heat and damage that it's gotten, it actually has two holes. This is no good for nothing. This You might as well just put in a new one, don't even think about it. Your electrode, you'll see that you've got discoloration all the way down to the tip. So this is no good for anything. I wouldn't use this for even a test cut. We do have a little scotch bright. You can occasionally just give it a quick rub and it'll clean it off a little bit. For your electrodes, you can also take it to a little scotch bright and just give it a quick rub and you'll see that it gets a little, a little bit of that scoring off um, and then you can extend the life a little bit longer. These are just the tips and tricks that we look for and we wanna pass that along so you know how to extend the life of your consumables. Of course, if you ever have any questions, you're always more than welcome to give us a call at 888-701-7101 or shoot us an email at info at stvcnc.com and we're more than happy to help.